could get an internet. Um, it's actually only a few hours after the last time I recorded this, just moving the microphone where it's a little bit closer. Um, I feel like playing some more, so let's do so. Most of my hands are in the correct location. So, um, as I mentioned last time, we now have May, who is yet another freaking archer. Peter is still going to be in uh, guest mode for another is it two or three battles. I don't remember how many battles it is now. But for a while to go. So, um, path-wise, there's only one place I can really go at the moment. I haven't fully embraced the open-worldness yet. Admittedly, it never gets that open, but I can stop by here. See, this is where Passaran's at. Andrew Petrovs. Rude told me about a family who has an ancient tomb in Paramecia. Very nice ladies, his house should be around here somewhere. Maybe it's to the east. So, um, these passageways are more important later on in the game. And I decided this time not to wear any headphones because, um, I noticed that my audio was a little bit too high for the microphone. So, I didn't particularly want to drown out things, and I have a kitty on my lap, and I'd rather pay attention to the kitty. Alright, this is where I have another battle coming up. Let's see if I can avoid it. I'm just curious to see how feasible this is. Nope, that one's an automatic battle also. What the heck? So, we've got goblins and hunter goblins, which, and now we have a dark dwarf. Dark dwarves have 32 attack. They're going to hurt a lot. So, I think. Is this the one that has the right? Yep, this is the one that has the power right. So, occasionally the game will actually put useful items on characters. Um, anything that's equipped on the character won't ever drop. But, things that are not equipped can drop. So, if I defeat this witch, the power ring will drop and I'll be able to pick it up in my inventory assuming I have any inventory space. If I don't have inventory space, or... If the witch isn't defeated because I defeated everything else and the boss isn't this character, I think in this battle the boss is this character, but um, then it will show up in the deals section of the shop. That's actually part of the point of deals, is so you can pick things up that you couldn't have before. I would much prefer to actually take the power ring. It's just me personally. Okay, this is usually the battle where Peter just goes off the deep end. Uh, if you're not careful in normal training course 2, uh, Peter will basically just start killing everything in sight and end up four or five levels higher than the rest of the party. In this case, Peter being a tortoise rather than a pegasus, not pegasus, dang it brain, a tortoise rather than a phoenix, it's probably not gonna happen. Um, so for the defeat count, what I think I may end up doing is, uh, what you call it? Maybe asking a friend to reset the kills and defeat count once I get Peter, or see if I can do it myself without actually spoiling myself, because I really don't want to know what's coming up. I find it really interesting, personally. Ugh. Okay. Oh, right. Jaha's not a warrior. Damn it, brain. I don't feel like he is anymore. Three, four, five. One, two. Okay. I'm actually safe there, oddly enough. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. Oh yeah. Um where's the bats? There's a bat. There's a bat. There's the bat, and I think that's it. Map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the three bats. Or just three bats, I should say. So I don't need to worry as much about lumping people together at the moment. 
I haven't activated any of that yet, it looks like. Alright, by moving up two, now you... Five. Yeah, everybody's in range. So I have two goblins activated right now. I need to pay attention because this could hurt me a lot more than it's going to hurt them. Also, I want to level Maya. sense for me to go after the goblin as fast as possible. So May is up here. I think it's time for a maximized boost. Let's hit five people. That should be 25 XP if I remember right. <sighs> this first looks so small by comparison to what I'm used to seeing. Gotta have everybody twitching. Except for mages who are perfectly still. Don't ask. I, I'm still very confused as to how the movement animations were designed in this game. So what I'm doing is that I'm trying to kill the biggest threat first. Because honestly, the goblins aren't that big of a threat anymore. As long as I don't have the same character getting hit by both goblins, I'm still perfectly fine. So my plan is to take out, well, the Hunter Goblin, which I just took out, and I don't have range on that strat. Movement's five, right? Now, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what you see that I'm doing is that I'm blocking off characters where I can only have a couple of them actually get hit at once. Okay, what's your defense? 19, yeah, you're fine. See, this would be a bad spot to go, because I could be attacked by both goblins. Whereas, like, for instance, uh, Chester can only be attacked by this goblin. Um, three, four, five. In theory, Slade could be attacked by both goblins, but he's got defense 20. He's actually probably perfectly fine at this point. Still gonna be a nail-biter. They're going after the mage. So, I'm fine now. Jaha has enough defense. Thanks to being a lucky boost spell. And the other one's going after Q. Yep, I'm fine. Alright, they're both the same on the same land effect tile, so it really doesn't matter. May. Huh. Just dawned on me. We have three people of... We have too many archers. We're repeating colors, aren't we? Yeah, Peter's an idiot, as usual. There's a reason why the last episode I decided to call it Shut Up Bird. Um, so, we've got so four archers total. So, we've got ranger, archer, archer, and archer. So, there's only three archers in the game normally. That would explain why I'm repeating a color. And I'm not too concerned about repeating a color. I should specify that. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to reduce somebody's hit points a bit. My ears are bothering me from wearing headphones too much today. Alright. I think... Yeah, I've got too many other characters at lower level. I don't want Bowie to attack. I'm just going to move Bowie around. Use him as a blocker, basically. Same with Sarah. Thanks, Crit. Good job, Slate. Okay, 
I don't think you can kill him, unfortunately. I can't even take a look at May's stats. 23 attack. I'm pretty sure May is an attack-based archer, which is interesting. Let's protect May because May is probably the squishiest member of my party. Timid, respectful. Yep. Go bonk him on the head by Kiwi. And then I will spread out a little bit and stay put. Um, basically, I need to heal off slightly. Because I have, let's see, it's... Uh, Kiwi's hurt. Ooh, he can't be the other one. Oh, yeah. Ninja House hurt. So I'm just spreading out slightly. Because I'm sure I'm going to wake up. Oh yeah, if the witch is woken. The witch has woke. It looks like I'm looking off to the left a bit. I'm actually working on cleaning up my Windows Update server because it's way too full at this point. This is going to expire. That's fine. They are definitely awake. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you can hit any of three these three characters. Good to know. <sighs> We're going to have Kiwi heal himself. Level 12 now. Plus two. Nice. No new spell found. Right. I wonder how long it'll be before TV gets a new spell. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I also wonder how long it will be. Nice. Good job, Bowie. Uh, before I get too annoyed by all of the characters being the wrong icon. Because it keeps throwing me off. So both Kazin and Slade look identical. So I'm going to make sure one of them is promoted with the silver tank, just so I don't have multiple identical characters. Dark Dwarf, I seem to remember, has a lot more defense than I'm expecting. Yeah, I'm only hitting for 7 now. Which things. But, eh. Bowie again. Bowie's dodging again. Oh, well, I am boosted. That does make a little bit of sense. What's... 31 agility. Wow. I might actually, for the first time, have a dodge tank? I've never had a dodge tank in this game. Should be enough for yeah, main can finish it off. Yep, 49 XP. 
recipe for me. So if this was a normal game of Training Force 2, what I would end up doing is basically abandoning one of the archers, because seriously, I have four archers, what the heck. Um, but it's a while before I even have the ability to change between characters, so it's not that big of a deal. This might have been a bad idea. I don't think I'm going to get one shot at or anything, it's just... I don't like having archers so exposed. I kind of not have a choice, though, because that's pretty much everybody at this in Archer. Okay, just need to tap. What's the chance somebody else is going to go before the dwarf? Everybody else is gone. The dwarf is almost certainly next. As much as I don't want to. I should take out the dwarf now. Before the dwarf gets another turn. Because that would be abysmal. And there was a chance Chester might have gotten a second action, but I um, didn't want to risk it. Alright. Nobody's hurt. Let's go back to diagonal formation because I'm approaching. Um. What do you call it? Uh. The uh, vampire bats. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. I so I was on a three and a half hour walk today. Or a four hour walk. Three and a half. By the time I got back. Here. All right. So the northern bats awakened. Good. Uh, I'm reestablishing my diagonal. With the hope that Bowie's the one that gets hit by one of the fire. Peter's gonna go off and do his own thing. I don't particularly care if Peter gets hurt. I know that's mean to say, but I don't. Might as well boost some more. Uh, so, as I mentioned, Jaha is going to end up the highest level character in the party. Because... That's only 5 minutes speed, isn't it? Um... Basically, what it boils down to is that he's going to have... A massive, massive advantage when it comes to. Oh, oh, he left my map. Massive advantage when it comes to leveling because of boost. Boost this early is almost broken, not because of what it does, but because of how easy it is to level up with it. And you can do something similar with Aura, which you can also. Uh, as early as you can get is also Karnan, and I think about it. I guess it's not that bad, but... Okay, so I've got those two. That one's not awake yet. Down there. I don't want my archer hurt. Not my new archer. He's still very squishy. this fast. I think the game just doesn't go twice in a row because that would be terrible. Alright, let's go ahead and heal back up Bowie before Bowie gets biffed in the face. I'm a little concerned that the vampire bat's gonna get off a of place too before I can go. So they appear to be awakened. 
I would like you to finish off the vampire bat, please, so you can get more XP. I believe that'll cause you to level up. Yep, okay. HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. Okay. Um, you're deficient on HP, but that was pretty obvious before. Let's take a look at our archers, because all three of the archer class are the same level right now. So, all three of them have the same hit points. Um, and it's harder to tell because of the boost at the moment, but... Um, basically, the difference between Mei and Kazin is Mei has one less defense and one more attack, except that Kazin is actually boosted. I'm actually wondering if Mei is the one that ended up with the lucky Peter stats. So the way I randomized this is that I basically took the, okay, you can either have a high HP, high MP, high attack, high defense, high agility, or there's a 1 in 30 chance that you could have Peter stats, which is just high everything. And I kept that same percentage. It's the same percentage as what's in Shining Force 2. I kept this percentage and just let it go. But looking at these stats, it's really interesting. I kind of want to see what they look like unboosted, but that's going to take a bit. Okay, where's the nearest enemy? Oh, wow. They're really far away, aren't they? Okay, I want to trigger somebody. So I'm actually going to fly fairly far out. for a bit. I mean, optimally, the way I would end up doing this is that I would basically just be boosting into maximum levels really fast. Um, I'm trying not to cheese this too much, because that's less fun. I mean, at this point, because of both Jaha and Slade, I could... Not Slade, damn it. Jaha and Kiwi, I could just max their levels in a gigantic sequence. Um, boost is enough to be able to get 25 XP per... Uh, 25 XP plus 20 XP plus 20 XP and just rotate between three castings constantly. And he's got 22 MP, so that's 11 times... What's this? 65. So you can gain roughly six levels each time you do this. You just do it over and over and over and over again. It doesn't matter what level anybody else is. The game does not care. But that's cheap. I don't want to do that. That's... Eh. I want this game to still be fun. Approaching the ones up. Oh, looks like I've woken them up. I've woken everybody up, haven't I? Poop. That's not what I want. Yep, I woke everybody up. No, I didn't wake that bad up. That's one thing. Okay, uh, where are you? Okay, I'm two squares away, so I can just move all the way down. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think Goblin can reach. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think either of them can reach right now. As long as I don't move significantly closer. So, I mean, you you can tell that I am boosting a fair amount, but I'm not really grinding it. I'm using it for reasons. At least that's what I'm telling myself, because I feel bad about how early I got boost. Uh, this might have just made this really easy. So, 
side, you should stay there. Chester, you go for one. Take room to me. Ooh, fighting them all at once is not gonna be good. Okay, you've definitely moved far enough south. Square off of being able to attack it. Okay. Basically, everybody's in range now, so I am going to go after this vampire bat with Bowie. Having its hit points. Finishing off with Chaha. And I can't finish it off with Chaha. I can mostly finish it with Chaha. Being called again. Yeah, Chaha will bring it down to one. Which, unfortunately, I don't know if I can finish off with anybody but Sarah. Uh, I think it's still the right move to finish it off. Kind of a waste of that. Ooh! I guess I'm not finishing it off with Sarah. This might hurt a lot. Okay. Can I take out this goblin? <laughs> See, this is the problem with activating everybody at once, is that there's too many creatures going on. You're not active. You are. You're going after... Oh, crap. Can you live through this? That was convenient. Thank you, Kiwi. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Kiwi is one of the weakest defense characters I have. Okay. One. Dang it. I think he needed to die that time, didn't you? I can't reach with May because... Everybody's in the way. I just went to go for the in, and yeah. Well, you attacked Sarah. That's not too bad. Sarah's really high defense at the moment, so she can handle herself. And you're attacking Bowie, which is going to hurt, but Bowie has hit points. And boost. I'm fine. in the Hunter Goblin. Make in the Hunter Goblin. That boost is starting to expire. Um, boost. Over here. I have to be careful because I'm I think I might actually be in range of the bird. Or vampire bat. I only boost the two of them. Oh, well, it's still 10 points. MP. MP. Defense. Agility. No spell. That's fine. His spells are pretty good as it is. Okay. I'm not quite in range. I am slightly out of range, so this is okay. How far are you going? Your movement is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can absolutely attack me next turn. Hmm. So here's what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned that this goblin's going to get to go before Kiwi. So, this is not something I normally do. Yeah. 
I normally never cast Blast, because it's a terrible spell. It does the same amount of damage as Fire 1. Or Flame 1. And May was going to go next anyway. Should be okay. Chester's boosted right now, anyway. They're not awake. Good to know. Because then it's going to be doing nothing this game, isn't it? Or this battle. Okay. Bird. You are weak right now. And bird. Get down there for the time being. Weekend, which hitting for six. Boom. Yeah, Jaha's only getting one point now for doing damage. Move Slade down because I'd rather have Slade get attacked than Chester at this point. Slade was within range of dying from a freeze. And technically there's no... Uh, I can't reach anyone other than the dwarf. Um, so Slade was in range of being able to be killed by freeze, which had me a little concerned. Uh, freezing a different one anyway. Okay, I can make this work. Kingdom for Aura. You know, heal yourself. I mean, at this point, I'm probably just going to continually heal. And boost. Oh, Kazin will do. He's also level 11. And Kazin now has Power Ring. So the Power Ring gives plus 5 attack. And you can use the Power Ring to cast the spell... The attack spell is the same thing as boost, only it's only for attack, and there's only one level of it. It's actually a pretty nice spell, but a terrible thing to have on the ring in my mind. I need to kill this dwarf fast. can tilt the dwarf right now, but I'd rather boost. This may be a mistake, but I think this will work better. So the reason why is that Jaha is the highest level, he's going to get next to nothing in experience. Uh, didn't boost the correct people. Slade... Could probably kill, maybe? No, nope, not quite. No, two hit points. Oh, Sarah's gonna kill the thief. I don't want to deal with the Dark Dwarf out, not thief. Uh, are you the boss battle? Are you the boss? No, there is no boss this time. Okay, well, I have time to heal up then. Because you haven't moved. Now you moved. Okay. First off, heal up Chester, he's taking a couple of hits. I've got two more healing spells. And Kiwi's 13. 
nice level up. But no spell still. Hmm. Six. Okay, so Kazin's the only one that's actually within range. Right now. I don't want to move him too far back. I think. I'm trying to give a wide berth because I really don't want to get that. God damn it! Kazan. Or Peter, not Kazan. Oh, well, I've already promised that I'm not going to save Peter, so don't care. Ooh, nice crit. could actually save Peter, couldn't I? Well, it's my last spell anyway. It's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and save Peter. He makes a good target. Don't say I never did anything for you, Peter. And goes in we'll kill it. Bye bye, vampire bat. Alright, and that's the end of that battle, and I have spent 37 minutes. Wow, that's actually not that bad. So, I believe, and I'm gonna double check this through save state. Uh, let's go ahead and have low egress, because I don't feel like walking all the way back. Ribble. Yes, I did warp back to Ribble, that's good. used a healing item. That's the reason why I work back. I want to make sure I keep up healing items. Uh, no. I don't care about that to be honest. Healing seed is fine. Yeah, Sarah used the healing item. Also, let's actually sell Sarah's old dagger. And let's give me some healing items that I forgot to do before. Whoops. Um, I think I actually want another. Alright, so the other thing I want to do is who's got that power ring? Okay, so everybody in the game can use this power ring. And in this case, well it's a attack thing. I don't want to give it to Jaha for very obvious reasons. Um Peter's the next lowest attack and I'm not giving it to Peter. Um, if I controlled the monster, I might be willing to do that, but otherwise, no. Um, May, Kazin. So what I'm trying to do is shore up some attack. I don't care as much about Kiwi right now on attack. That's not as big of a deal. Uh, let's go ahead and get May for the time. So now May's attack is an incre increased by 5. Also, I can, um, power as mentioned before, the Power Ring will use the spell attack. However, the problem with using items like that is they have a chance of breaking. And each time they break, they break further and further. So the reason why I did a save state is because there's a chance that this random battle will trigger again, and it did not.
Yes, there's a reason why I'm following the river. Well, I think I don't need to do anything with this right now. I think... Oh, no, here it is. Somewhere over here is an amazing thrill, if I remember correctly. Is it in this section? Yep. I told you, I have most of this memorized. I'm not looking at a guide. Okay. So, there's nothing really out here for reference. It's a beach. It's a river system that you don't really need to go through. And you can't anyway, because it's blocked by rocks. The only point of that bridge was to get that mithril. There's nothing else here. I mean, go all the way to the south. Oh, hey, look, there's nothing there. There really is no other point. So this will bring us to the cave, if I remember correctly, right? Uh, yeah, there's nothing else there. Go over this bridge. Pretty sure there's nothing else out here. Nope. And up here is the cave. Somewhere. Yeah, I remember the pieces of Mithra. I don't remember where exact locations of caves are, apparently. Which is weird. Right? Yeah, the cave's over here. Okay. Yeah, I should probably stop it here. So I'm going to go ahead and save my new save. Save seven. And we'll go ahead and stop this here. Uh, I know this one was a shorter recording. It's only 42 minutes. Darn. But my rule of thumb that I'm trying to do is, am I done with a battle after a half an hour point? If so, stop. If not, go ahead and continue. So I will see you all next time. Um, I may record another one of these tomorrow, but probably not, not another one today. Good night and have a nice day.